This video outlines in short the second part of the evaluation of a clinical trial application, the assessment of part 1. It explains how to create and upload the draft assessment report for part 1. How to document considerations of the draft assessment report and the application documentation of part 1. And how to submit the final assessment report and conclusion for the part 1. After the submission of the validation conclusion that was explained in Module 6, the RMS and the MSCs will jointly proceed with the assessment of Part 1 of the clinical trial application. You can perform the assessment of Part 1 either by accessing the evaluation section within the application dossier or you can access it from the tasks tab. Please be aware that the hard tasks, depicted in grey color, such as submit the Part 1 conclusion, are compulsory to be completed and need to be accessed via the Tasks tab. Soft tasks depicted in beige color are not compulsory to be completed and can be accessed either by the Tasks tab or by the Evaluation section within the Application dossier. The first task is to circulate the Draft Assessment Report for Part 1. The RMS will start the assessment of Part 1 by creating the Draft Assessment Report. The draft assessment report includes a preliminary assessment of the scientific documentation of the application dossier, found in the section of Part 1. More details on the content of the draft assessment report can be found in the quick guide of the Module 8. In order to upload the documents of the draft assessment report, click on the arrow on the right side to open the subsection, and then on the lock button. You will find dedicated areas to the various parts of the initial assessment. You can upload one or more document for each part of the assessment. Click on the Add Document button on the right side. In the pop-up form, drop the document on the grey area or click on it, select your document and fill in the fields with the appropriate details if needed. Click on the Attach button. You can also use the Word templates for the documents of the draft assessment report that are generated by CTIS. Select the one or more parts for which you wish to use the template, by ticking in its box, on the left side and then click on the button Generate Template. The selected template for the draft assessment report is downloaded and ready for the user to fill in. Some sections of the report are already populated based on information available for the trial. Fill in the Word template, saved on your local disk. Once finalized, upload the document to CTIS, as previously shown. Once you finish with the upload of the required parts of the initial assessment, you need to share the draft assessment report to make it visible to the other MSCs. On the left side, tick in the boxes of each part you want to share or select all of them. The Share button becomes active. Click on that to share the uploaded documents. The green pop-up message on the upper right corner informs you that the documents have been shared. A notice will be triggered to all the MSCs. In the other MSCs workspace, in the evaluation section, you can see the draft assessment reports shared by the RMS. In order to view the documents, you need to download them. Tick in the boxes of the documents you wish to view and click on the download button. You can also use the individual download button, found next to each document. View the documents and use the considerations functionality to communicate to your colleagues from the other member states your views. The users of the MSCs can raise considerations as part of the scientific assessment of the dossier or the draft assessment report and share them with the rest MSCs. This can be done before or after the draft assessment report have been circulated by the RMS. The RMS consolidates the considerations and can link any of them to requests for information that are sent to sponsors. For more information on how to raise your considerations and submit the relevant requests for information you may view the FAQ sheet, the second and third clip from Module 6, as well as the quick guide from Module 8. If needed, the draft assessment report can be updated by the RMS and shared again. Once the assessment is complete and the RF is responded in a satisfactory way, the RMS can proceed with the conclusion part of the Part 1 assessment. This is a hard task and can be performed only via the Tasks tab. Click on the Tasks tab, find the task Submit Conclusion of Part 1 and click on it, provided that the task has been assigned to you. 
you will be redirected to the appropriate area in the evaluation section of the application. Click on the lock button, scroll down and upload the two documents for the final assessment report by using the add document boxes. The stars indicate that the two documents are compulsory. Share them by using the share button. The message on the upper side informs you that the documents were shared successfully. At the end of the page, select one of the possible values from the drop-down menu to choose the appropriate final conclusion. Click on the Submit button to finally submit the conclusion of Part 1. The users of the other MSCs will be notified about the submission of the conclusion on Part 1 done by the RMS from the Notices and Alerts tab. You can view the conclusion either by clicking on the notice or by going directly to the dossier on the Evaluation section. Below, the disagreement functionality can be used by any MSC user in case of disagreement with the conclusions on the part 1 done by the RMS. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on the assessment of part 1 of a clinical trial application, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.